Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my Hobonichi Cousin that I use as my everyday planner. And this week I will be decorating with some line florals from the Happy Planner. And I do not remember what sticker book this is from because I actually ripped it out. <laughs> and then I will be using uh, the this Eliza kit. I'm going to call it Eliza. I know some people pronounce it Eliza, but my sister's name is Eliza and it's actually her birthday this week. So I'm using the Eliza kit from Let's Plan It along with the supplemental stickers. I say that I'm using this, but I'm probably going to only use like one or two stickers from this because this is the daily kit and I don't purchase the, the weekly cousin kit. I take pieces and stuff from... Anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is actually take one of these washi strips, which I tried to cut down the middle using my ceramic pen cutter that I got from Stationery Pal. And I think I got it to the width that I want it. But as I was cutting it, I was also swearing a little bit because it didn't go exactly the way that I wanted. Ooh, it fits perfectly, but it's gonna be obviously a little bit longer on this side and that's okay. I will cut it to the exact length. Now, why do you ask, you know, why would I not get the Hobonichi, the weekly kit? And the main reason for that is that I have purchased it before and I love her kits. I'm going to do this with scissors because I'm too afraid that I'm not going to get a straight line. But the main reason for that is, is that I did use the kits and I absolutely loved them, but I found that I had way too many stickers left over and I didn't want to waste them. So I just decided that I will just get the daily kits, which I use all of these stickers and then get the supplemental kit because this is enough for me to fill in this space. I don't need a ton of stickers to fill in the cousin. Um, okay, so then I'm going to put down this main character energy down here in the bottom with one of these florals. And oh, I'm not doing great with putting stickers down today. They just kind of go wherever. And like that and like that. You're probably thinking like why would you put a sticker down if you're just gonna cover most of it and I like the layering effect there okay and then I'm gonna do something different down here so what I'm gonna do first is the sidebar and then we'll do the bottom and then we'll handle the rest of the spread so the sidebar if you guys are familiar is one where I keep track of my sleep as well as my workouts so the first thing I'm going to do is create a header using my Tombow dual brush pen number four five one and then brush lettering the word sleep I almost forgot what the word was but brush letter in the word sleep and then take a really cute coffee monsters co emoji to uh, basically say this is where I'm tracking my sleep and then Underneath that I draw a graph and this is where I actually keep track of how many hours of sleep that I get as well as my sleep score and then underneath that I keep track of my workout so using Tombow dual brush pen number 912 I actually then do another header brush letter in the word workout and then write in my schedule for the week so I am on week seven of lift four. So then let's move down to the bottom portion. And in the bottom, this is where I use the same Tombow Dual Brush Pens 912 and 451 to create the headers for my meals. So once I've created the headers, I brush letter in the word meals. And then using the same Tombow Dual Brush Pens, writing in BLD for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm okay with using the bottom portion of the weekly spread for this because I'm not normally awake after midnight. So. Uh, kudos to those people who can use all hours of their Hobonichi cousin, but after midnight, I am dead to the world. The next part I'm going to work on is the main part of the spread. So I'm going to go in here with the same Tombow dual brush pens. You can kind of see a theme happening with the Tombow dual brush pens and highlighting or creating a header for my work shifts as well as brush lettering in the word work and then using my fountain pens, drawing in arrows to outline my hours for the week. All right, 
right, so now I can get in here and do the day-to-day. -day. The inks look very similar, but they're both the Yurameku inks in my fountain pen, so I'm happy to be using them. Now, let's make sure I'm using the right one. So, Monday, I'm gonna go in here and write in my to-do list, which is the same meal plan and order groceries. I feel like you guys know my typical uh, my typical schedule on a week-to-week -week basis. I still love the fact that you guys told me that I missed something. <laughs> love it. Uh, next is garbages. So my husband puts out the garbages on Tuesday night so that they're picked up Wednesday morning. Uh, put out. Oh, I used the wrong pen. Oh well. Then Wednesday, nothing that I know of as of yet. Thursday is when we're going to pick up the groceries. So let's find a grocery sticker. Uh, which is a good color. This one. Oh, did I already smudge? Who? Oh well. Is it going to be one of those weeks? It might be. So my husband picks up the groceries on Thursday evenings. And then, I'm just trying to think that week ahead. Okay, I've got time. So the following, what else do I need to do here? The Friday is when I also do my filming for YouTube. So let's pick a really good, I feel like that orange works really well. So I will be doing my filming probably during my little break time here. So I'll put that there. And to film, I'll have to do my weeks, my cut then, and the monthly setup already. Goodness gracious. And then Saturday. Saturday's a weird one. This weekend is gonna be a bit weird. So we might do, I feel like there's something else that I'm missing on Saturday. I don't think there is, but I think what we're gonna actually end up doing is doing our cleaning on the Saturday because Sunday is going to be a busy day. So I'm going to take this cute Paper Bits Co sticker and place it on Saturday and yeah, and Saturday is also my sister's birthday. So for cleaning, we're gonna do eh, the usual bathrooms, cabs and apps, which is the cabinets and appliances in the kitchen. My husband does the vacuuming. We just bought a new vacuum and he spent so much time setting it up last night. He loved it. Uh, vacuum, windows, and then the kid, Henry does does the dusting and he goes around the house and collects all the garbages and then Robin helps me out with her bathroom or with the kids bathroom and then she also goes around and um, cleans all the light switches as well as all the door handles so all of the really high traffic areas and then that evening we are having a party for my sister's birthday. So I don't know what time that is, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave that as is. But that also means then that I will have to do laundry earlier that day. So taking a Paper Bits Co sticker again, probably gonna do laundry in the afternoon. And just checking because I have forgotten. I did our bed linens on the 4th, so yes, definitely bed linens because we were away. So, uh, bed linens and fold laundry. Okay, and then I'm going to leave the rest of that blank. And then Sunday, Sunday Henry has Ninja. That always sounds so funny to say. Henry has ninja. And I don't know what icon. You know what? I'm going to take one of the icons from here because I won't use them all. I'll take this blue one. And he has ninja from 11.30 to 12.30. And so far he's absolutely enjoying it. So Henry at ninja. 
And then we're hoping after that to actually go to K Days, which is like our annual kind of fair here. So let's find a good sticker for that. It took me a while to find something and in the end, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this just family time sticker and probably combine it with one of these here. Oops. Because honestly, I don't know how long we'll be there for if he's done it. Yeah, I'll see. And where's my pen? That's not my pen. There we go. I'm uh, going to K Days. All right. So those are the main things that I know that are happening this week. So what I'm gonna do is actually add a little floral down here with, I feel like I should have used more of this, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this funky colored one and actually place it here. And this across here. And then I feel like I do need to put something up at the top. I have tons of stickers left over. So let's, I'm actually gonna take one of the weekend stickers that I had custom made and put this up here. Oh, I like that. Simple. Then how many of these florals do I have left? I have tons. I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, I say tons, but um, you know what, I'll leave that. I'm gonna take... <laughs> Maybe one of these. And cut them down. And actually just place it like that. So it adds a little bit of a contrast. And then I'm actually gonna do something similar up here just to add something different. You know, so just to add a little some a little extra pop of color up at the top. Not that it's not already so colorful. And you know what, I don't mind that. Okay. Oh, that's fun. That is so fun and summery. I really like it. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a lot of stickers left over and these are the ones I'm gonna be using in my daily spread. Okay, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.